Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Just look at that. The Earth is making its way around the sun. Can you imagine taking a trip that lasts a whole year? That's exactly how long it takes for the Earth to travel all the way around the sun. 365 days, to be exact. That's how long you have to wait for your birthday every year. And check out the way the Earth is tilted. Tilt is when something is not straight up and down. It's a little bit sideways, kind of like this famous building in Italy. It's always tilted. That tilt makes different parts of the Earth get more sunlight than others. This is what creates the yearly pattern called seasons. Pretty cool, right? Each season, spring, summer, fall, and winter has different types of weather. But how does the Earth change as the seasons change? Let's make some observations and find out. An observation is when you look carefully and write down what you notice. That looks like a lot of fun, playing outside on a sunny day. Eric and Mia are running through the sprinkler to cool down, and Chen has brought so many fruits for their picnic. I see watermelons, cherries, blueberries, strawberries. Ah, delicious. I think I hear the music of the ice cream truck coming, too. Ha, ah, this looks like it must be summer. Summer is the hottest time of the year with plenty of different fruits and vegetables. But why is that? Let's take a look at the Earth and the sun. During summertime, the way Earth is tilted toward the sun, part of it gets the most sunlight, also called direct sunlight. And in that part of the Earth is summer. Direct sunlight makes temperatures warm and days longer. Look, it's dinner time, and it's still light outside. In summer, it also doesn't rain very much, so it's very dry. Animals try to stay cool by finding shady spots or even going underground to beat the heat. But as the Earth continues its orbit or movement around the sun, the seasons change. Let's see what season is next. It looks like the leaves on the trees have changed from green to all sorts of other colors. There are yellow, red, orange, and brown leaves everywhere. Many have fallen off and are on the ground. Uh-huh. Looks like the perfect place to make a giant leaf pile to jump into. We can see that people are wearing long sleeves, pants, and even some jackets. Oh, look at that. Those geese are flying south to find warmer weather. They do this every year when it gets cold. When animals travel long distances from one place to another, it's called migration. Hmm. Cooler weather, birds flying south, leaves changing colors. This must be the fall or autumn season. Fall is when we go back to school, watch football, and carve pumpkins. Let's continue our journey through the seasons. Wow, so white and so beautiful. And look at all the children ice skating. Everyone has warm coats on, hats, gloves, and scarves, so it must be pretty cool. Look at the trees. They don't have any leaves left on them. Do you see any animals scurrying around? Probably not, because... It's winter. Winter is when part of the Earth is tilted away from the sun. That part is getting indirect sunlight, meaning days are shorter, temperatures are colder, and in many places, it even snows. I love snow. You can make snow angels and build snowmen. Because it is so cold, many of the plants have lost their leaves and fruit. Wild animals know that it will be hard to find food during the winter, so they do something super cool. They take a really long nap. Well, actually, it's called hibernation. Animals like bears, bats, and raccoons find a place to sleep the winter away. They make sure to eat a lot of food to prepare for this long period of sleep. Can you imagine not eating for the entire winter? I bet those bears wake up pretty hungry. The animals wake up when the earth wakes up. Things start growing, and there's plenty of food to eat. Speaking of the next season, let's see what it is. It's springtime. Everything looks so colorful and beautiful because of all the blooming plants and flowers. 
It's like the entire Earth is waking up. Temperatures are getting warmer. Oh, look up there. Those gray clouds means it's probably going to rain soon. Better get your umbrella and rain boots. That rain is just what these new little plants need as they grow big and strong. I might even say they're growing mighty. <laughs> and look at all of the animals. It looks like the bears have come out of hibernation after a long winter. Their first order of business is to eat a big meal, of course. And do you hear all the birds chirping? And look over there. All the geese have returned from the south. Now as the weather here is warmer. Spring is full of new beginnings. The best part about our mighty seasons is that the pattern keeps repeating. Depending on where you live, the seasons happen at different times of the year because our mighty Earth gets different amounts of sunlight as it orbits around the sun. When Earth is tilted toward the sun, it gets direct sunlight, and in that part of the world, it's summer. Temperatures are warm, days are longer, and we cool off with plenty of water and ice cream. However, on the other side of our planet, where the sunlight is indirect, temperatures are colder, days are shorter, and it's winter. That's why if you are enjoying the beach and warm weather in Florida in June, your friends can be skiing at the same time in Argentina. What season is it for you today? Whichever season you are in, make it mighty. See you in the next video lesson.